Obviously just got in a lot of really good work, uh, really both uh, first and second group got uh, got over 60 plays of really, really good live football. Um, our threes got a number of work as well. thought we uh, did a pretty good job with the ball as far as security. We tacked the ball good defensively. Had a penalty the first time we had the refs out there, so definitely an educational, especially with some of our younger guys, just cleaning up uh, uh, some holdings, a couple of procedures, a couple of finishes to plays, but overall very, very excited. Got nine practices down. Got two more weeks in front of us, um, but to have our first live scrimmage to come out the way we did, and especially offensively, I thought both our quarterbacks, uh, um, Luke did extremely well, did a lot of positives today, really just one negative that uh, is an easy pickup. And then uh, Donovan had uh, one interception, responded really good after that and played extremely well. He's really been uh, awesome the first three weeks. So excited for those guys overall. With that, turn over questions. Just when you talk about those interceptions, like now it seemed to be the time to learn how they bounce back from that. It's like, what have you seen the response for those? I think, Brett, we only had one, didn't we? I believe oh, we only had one. One, you had one. Uh, and, and, I, and I would say two things, right? Like the. Uh, the, the, the details of how it happened. It was just a little bit behind him under throwing a little bit late coming out. But with a quarterback, you always worry about how they respond. And his response is awesome. I think the next drive went down the field for, for a touchdown. So uh, the mechanics of that was great. Um, really overall, I think uh, all spring, we haven't had a lot of turnover, a lot of interceptions. But uh, when they have had some adversity, the guys have responded very well. I mean, you guys seem like you're putting a lot of trust in Donovan, just mm-hmm. giving him, it seems like the opportunity to be there. Like, what have you seen just this three years for him, bro? Like his well, development? first and foremost, he's just, I, I think his approach, his demeanor, his, his uh, 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 daily details have just uh, enhanced and are at a different level than he's ever had. Uh, and not that we're putting it in him, he's given us a trust, right? Like, one of the things we always talk about is dependability, and he's giving us a lot of tre- reasons for us to be uh, reliable on him, depend on him. I think his teammates feel that way. It's fun to watch the interaction between him and Luke. Um, just uh, really, really impressed with him overall. And, and not only him, but the play, the way the players have responded around him. First live practice for three new uh, coaches. And yeah. How to go for those guys. Yeah, you know, I've been very impressed. You know, first and foremost, Archie, you know, I've, I coach inside backers really my whole career. So I told him, hey, you're going to burden this, right? And, and uh, I literally learned from him on his interview. And, and it's been a steady process, extremely intelligent. Uh, I think our guys would tell you that the detail of his work is pretty impressive. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Step has been a immediate impact literally from day one, the way he's responded to our guys. I think some of our older players, I've seen Isaiah Williams, some of those guys came back and they've talked to guys that he has coached and gave a little street cred walking in. But the growth of that wide receiver room has been pretty, pretty apparent uh, since he's arrived. And then um, Clint, I can't imagine what we asked him to do. He literally came in three days before spring ball. Uh, our outside linebacker group in general is a pretty strong group, but he's taken, I think, some of the things we did in the past and he's tried to enhance that. Uh, as well as some new sub packages that we're using. So uh, really excited about those three guys in general, and, and I know they're excited to be here. What are your thoughts on the wide receiver room, Brett? Just what you're asking them to do, new position coach, and yeah. it seems like there's a lot of opportunity out there. For well, players. a lot of moving parts, right? So first was the transition uh, uh, at, the, at the position coach, right? But Step took that from day one. I think the familiarity that him and Barry had, even though it's kind of in different roles kind of in a different way, but. Um, uh, he was he was with Barry at, at Arc, so they had a familiarity. When I first that job came open, he was literally one of the first guys I talked about with Barry. So to uh, to have it come to life was pretty awesome. Um, I think Pat Bryan in general has taken a step forward, uh, just in his overall uh, leadership. Um, I think he understands where he is in that room, how he needs to do it, and the young guys have responded very well. Malik Elzey's probably playing as well as he's played. Um, made a huge catch today in the red area. Um, uh, Ashton Hollins was having a good spring, kind of got rolled up today, so we're waiting to see where that's at. But um, uh, overall, he's had a really good spring. Uh, uh, Kanari Welcher had a nice, really, uh, really good little uh, uh, screenplay today, but his game has jumped up. Hank Beatty has been impressive. Um, uh, and then I, a couple new guys, Kapka Jones, um, uh, as well as uh, um, Rio has been a little bit banged up with a, with a hamstring, but his, his first impressions are definitely very positive. Coach, you've alluded to some position changes uh, this spring. Uh, can you give us some? Specifics on who those kids are and, um, and how, how do you think they did today in their new new spots? I'm trying to think who changed because um, I've been watching them for three weeks. Well, Jared Beatty went from outside to inside, and that's been very positive. Um, uh, he's been kind of used base, baseline uh, on our base defense, but also in some sub packages. He has good inside outside value, so that's there. Daniel Brown has been kind of flexing the same way. He's been inside and outside linebacker. Um, Really, on the offense side, it's been guys that have changed around positions within the offensive line. Nobody's really changed. I mean, guard to tackle, vice versa. But um, overall, everything's been pretty positive there. I think we want to find our top, you know, eight to ten O linemen, but more than anything, find out our top five, right? And that's kind of a day day to day flow. 
Ezekiel Holmes, is he working up Zeke front Holmes. or is he still? Zeke is, yeah. Zeke's playing uh, uh, outside linebacker, but he's also played some defensive end uh, the last two weeks. Um, but, yeah, really in our sub packages, they, they literally do both. But Zeke, Zeke's been, um, I think, very Im impressive. Just, you know, he's never really played down in there and some of the things we're asking him to do. He's been uh, a solid uh, solid guy for us in there. And, and then our young, our new guys have been really impressive. I think uh, Dennis Briggs, if you ask anybody, he's been very impressive to, to everybody in the room. But you guys didn't have Dez at this time yeah. last year, really, for most. Like, what have you seen from him in the yeah. offseason season and in the spring ball? Yeah, I think Dez, for sure, is an interior player, a guard. We kind of thought went back forth guard to tackle. I think he could have some value at tackle, but we're playing mainly a guard. Uh, I think him, Zai, Brandon Henderson, um, uh, to a certain level, Melvin Priestley, those four guys are kind of figuring out who, who's our best mix, right? Zai's playing outside, but he's also playing inside. Our left side, Geske and, and uh, uh, J.C. Davis have been pretty solid. I think they're they're uh, uh, firm over there, but some of those other guys could pop over to that left guard spot as well. And then Josh Crutes continues to be very impressive at center. And the other day, Archie had talked about Dylan's obviously back yeah. in practice. And he said yeah. it just kind of feels different when Dylan's out there. What have you seen him build on from such a significant role last season? Yeah, so in week three, it was the first week we'd had Dylan back. He got banged up in week one. He's been back. He practiced Tuesday, Thursday, and also out there today. Today, there was a, a big contact play, uh, you know, that I kind of was like, okay, he's back. But his presence, his awareness, his ability to communicate. Kanana's not out there as well, right? So really our two, and really James Cruz isn't out there. So our top three returning inside players. But Daniel Brown's been awesome. Uh, uh, Seth Coleman playing a little bit of inside backer has been really good. Um, I think the uh, uh, um, the maturity that, uh, um, you know, uh, Jared Beatty brings to that room was, was pretty apparent. And then um, really more than that, uh, Ryan Mead, even though he's kind of played everything, he's been a really good steady voice for us. The open spot on the, on the staff, is that something you said down the road that you'll find that I got you. Yeah. Um, Really, because the timing of it, I didn't see it coming, didn't see it happening, right? I, I really just wanted to finish spring ball. I literally got a folder of probably 24 names, right? Wow. That I mean, I've had over 50, 60 people reach out to me, but I'm kind of narrowing down to guys I'm really genuinely interested in. And then Aaron and I will get together uh, really on Monday uh, this week. I just let him gather information. I gather information. Uh, but, yeah, I've been blown away some of the – uh, people that reached out, but the other X factor is, you know, not only is it in the season for us right now in spring, I think there's a lot of people that really probably might have interest, but they're in the middle of spring ball. They don't want to complicate the matters there. So right. I'm going to let spring ball pass and then we'll move on. I'll probably hire someone in the middle because once our guys get done with spring ball, they're gone the next week anyway. So sure. I want to get the right guy in. I'm going to take my time, kind of like I did with, with Clint's opportunity. I'm so glad that we took a little extra time because it obviously got us a great coach. You got some flexibility there, though, right? 100%, yeah. yeah that's uh, the only thing is spring, spring recruiting, but I can easily put a GA. I'd like to put a couple of our guys on the road anyway, so it's, it works in our favor. Did you do the spring today with the headset and the, and the yeah. helmet today? How, how did that go? Yeah, uh, we've really done it all through spring. Sure. Um, so offensively, we've let two of our quarterbacks have it, and then we have one on defense. Mm -hmm. We only have three. Um, so uh, the first two weeks we experimented having because because uh, 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 D Rose wasn't out there we put it in Miles sure. he loves it um, uh, Barry and, and the quarterbacks love it uh, today we actually we don't have the functionality of turning off at 15 seconds but we had right. we had managers tapping them today so they knew they couldn't talk okay. because we were trying to make it as realistic as possible I think players and coaches are very excited about it. As the live bullets flew today you feel like it was. It, it was I haven't really talked to them yet but it was definitely functional and then when we have. The other byproduct of that is when you have the other quarterback in there, right, because we had threes and fours going, he had to go in there and you can see the effect that it has.